hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridget. how are you guys doing i hope you're doing well today very very lovely to have you with me today today i have a relationship story to share with you guys <laughs> but this related this this one eh, is like a relationship story that i haven't shared before and before i go to go on to read the email i have a little bit of marketing to show you some beautiful dresses from everpretty.com and everpretty.co.uk as you guys know you ladies on this platform and you gentlemen who shop for your wives and girlfriends and sisters and mothers this is a brand i've worked with so many times and uh, i highly recommend their dresses for evening dresses party dresses prom dresses wedding dresses for whatever occasion that you need dresses for and the beautiful part about today's video or the dresses i'm showing you is that i'm not the model today no i'm not the one showing you this dress today i have queen esther <laughs> so i'm just going to show you the dresses briefly and talk you through them if you're interested please the link is going to be linked in my description box you can always go to everpretty.com and I've got a discount as well that you can use to purchase them. So take a look. The first dress is a black long evening dress and it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's a lace dress and you can wear it to a party, on your birthday, on, it, on an evening occasion and whatever ceremony that you have to attend this dress is just lovely it's very classy it's unique and you know black is always very flattering so yeah esther is very she's very shy i can't tell you how many days <laughs> i begged her before <laughs> she did this video but eventually we got there so she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable but she's gonna get into it in a little bit so yeah we are dancing there and the brother is there on the side he's trying to hyper playing music so i'm put a little music now so we can see her dance This is the second one and this dress is absolutely absolutely gorgeous i don't think the video quality is doing much justice to this dress i tell you i love the color of the dress and it's flowing obviously and it's got this nice sleeves that covers the arm and it's just very flattering and the next one is a white one this is a white dress and this one is actually um, it's a beautiful like summary dress that you can also wear for occasion to church to ceremony for your birthday and this one is quite cute so yeah this is the third this is the third dress and you agree with me that it's quite flattering we are going gradually towards summer now and by the grace of god they are going to lift the uh, ban on gathering very soon and i know we are going to go crazy with barbecuing and attending those ceremonies that we could attend throughout one year now so yeah everybody's gonna be having fun this summer so yeah this one is a cute one that you can wear to those functions and it's quite lovely and yeah and it comes in other colors as well so you can choose any color don't forget i got a discount code
so guys that's the fine address it's a peach very lovely cute summer dress if you would want to see these dresses and buy any of them please click on the link below in the description box or go to everpretty.com or everpretty.co.uk and the description is also linked below for more discounts and i put the discount up here now thank you i want to tell you something about you know this young lady i don't know her i'm pressing she just sent me the email but i was not quite happy initially i thought i wasn't going to do this video because i was like what the hell let's read the email now <laughs> And I kid you not, guys, I'm not exaggerating. This is exactly how she said it. No dear Auntie Bridget, no dear Bodo uh, nothing. She just said, when I was 22 years old, who starts an email like that? She said, when I was 22 years old, I started talking to this guy I met on Facebook. He's a medical doctor in Nigeria, and I live in America. He was, very good. He was a very good person helping me with my nursing work. And studies with me. Well, that's what he told you. That is a, is a medical doctor. My sister hated him because he is a medical doctor like her. I didn't know that until when she pursued me into this guy. My mom's friend introduced me to. She was the first person to meet the guy when she went to Nigeria to do her introduction to the guy she's getting married to. She called me and was telling me that how the guy kneel down on his knees to greet everybody but i kept telling her that i have somebody i'm talking to i started having an issue with the medical doctor guy because he said i should call his mom and i refused because he we were just started talking and i needed to know him well before i know his mother Lori, you know? <laughs> Lori, you know? mm -hmm. i called him four days that I'm sorry, I'm trying to call him to explain the reason why I did not want to call his mother. But he didn't pick up his call. I kept calling him. To explain the reason why I did not call his mother, but he did not pick up his call. I kept calling him, but he did not pick up his call. I thought he is done with me and he wants to move on. I started talking to this guy my mother's friend introduced to me more often. Ending on 2019, I traveled to Nigeria to see this guy my mother's friend introduced me to. I thought I have met the right person. He was so caring, but the only problem I had with him that he didn't take me out. And I was begging him to take me out. And I've been begging him to take me out. He does not want to take me out for a date. Like, he doesn't want to take me to the mall, restaurant, or anywhere for me and him to hang out. I asked his sister why his brother does not want to take me out. And she said he does not like to go out. He's not an outgoing person. I just let that one pass and told myself that I will take myself out if he doesn't like to go out. But I should let that one go. When he engaged me, I did not like the ring. The engagement <laughs> ring is a wedding ring with a wedding band and rusted inside and there was no diamond <laughs> she said that the, the engagement ring was a wedding band and it was rusted <laughs> and my ring call hmm. i accepted the ring and at night i was looking at the ring trying to find something to like about the ring but i was upset and decided to let him know that i do not like the ring the next day, he, I told him to change it to the one I like. That I will help him to buy it if he did not have enough money. The next day, we went to church. After church, I told him the ring is too tiny so that he can change it. He bought another one that looks like the one in his pocket, but more rustier than in my finger again. He went out to greet another church member. And then I told him I didn't like the ring and that the ring is rusted. He started insulting me, saying that I'm greedy and told my mother I want a ring that I will show off to my friends and I should be happy with what I have. 
that if I do not like the ring, that I should buy another one with my own money when I go back to America. I started thinking in my head that this guy did not like me. When I got back, I told my sister about my journey, everything that happened. I showed her the ring in my hand and she said that the ring is fake. I did not know that the ring was fake. I had been having pain around the finger and a green line around the ring side. I didn't know that it is because of the ring and that it's because it's fake. Hmm, infection, bad day. I got angrier and even more mad at my sister because she was the one pushing me to him because she thinks the guy loves me and I listen to her thinking she knows me well and with the way the medical doctor guy treated me makes me believe this guy more when the guy called me after his father put the traditional wedding in November I told him that I don't want to, to go ahead with the wedding can you imagine they're already planning wedding you can oh my god she went to Nigeria to see him. They didn't even spend time together. I said the guy did not want to take her out. They're already planning wedding. You can see. Can you just see this? I told him I didn't want to do the wedding anymore. That he does not love me. And that it all start, started with him not taking me out when I was in Nigeria and the fake ring. So those are the two issues. Not taking you out and fake ring. That if he loves me, he will want to be around me, take me out, even if it's not what he likes to do. But to make me happy and make me, he, me love him more and more. I thought the guy would call me and start apologizing, but he did not call. In the next five, five months, the father called me and asked me if I still want the marriage to go on. And I told him that his son has not bothered to call me, to ask me anything. He wants the marriage that I do not want to continue again. Then in the next three days, the father sent my mother a WhatsApp message telling her that I should pay back the flight money for the ticket, the hotel bills, and the wedding arrangement bills, which is a total of 3950 I paid everything to him, but I'm still mad at my sister and wish I did not listen to her. Now, I do not have anyone. I have lost the medical doctor guy and this guy. I will be 28 in May and I'm still single. I wish I had someone I am talking to. 28 in May. I cannot meet somebody today and marry that person the next day without dating him or getting to know him. Or him getting to know me. I want somebody and do not wish to rush marriage and be unhappy in marriage. But I do not want to marry late. My parents married late. My dad is 80 years old and my mom is 70 years old and I will be 28. And I know how hard for them it was for them to raise us at old age. I know how many miscarriages my mom had before she had my, um, my two other brothers and myself. Ah, my twin brothers. I remember when I was 12 years old, people would think that my parents are my grandparents. I do not want to experience that. But it looks like I will end up like my parents. The, all the reasons why you are looking for marriage are all wrong. They are all the wrong reason. You talked about your age. You are 28 in May. Hmm? Wrong reason to look for her. To say you must marry. Your parents married late and you know how they struggled. Your mom struggled before she could have you. Wrong reason. You don't need to be married to have children. If you want to have children, you, can, you could have had... Start having children at 20. You don't need to be married. Don't wait until you are married. If children is your primary objective for why you want to get married, then don't wait until you are 28 or 20 or 29. You could have been having children or start now, 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 now. Another wrong reason. The third wrong reason is that you met a guy on Facebook. 99.9 .9 of the guys on Facebook are fake. 419 people who are only looking for women they would do. Or women that will bring them to the USA or bring them to the UK or Europe. Now you are blaming your sister for another one that she pushed you to, and you went to Nigeria and you were expecting that you know that one will work out. It's like all your mind is marriage. Marriage, if you are meeting a guy, it's like in your mind, as you meet a guy, you're already calculating hey, when is the wedding going to be. You are calculating already that when are you going to get married? Oh my god, my dear. You got it all wrong, okay?
you got it all wrong and the way you are desperate i'm so worried that you're going to end up with the wrong person you're going to end up with the wrong person because all you are thinking is marriage 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 hey joe hey joe i'm getting old though and i don't want to have children later what you should focus on is thinking about you know finding somebody you know who genuinely genuinely wants the same thing that you want somebody that you can date a relationship that you can take your time to grow not just jump in and say no oh, i meet somebody now and he's giving you one rusty ring it's a good thing that you had the sense to back out of that one in nigeria because that one eh he for hook you for neck Sure, the guy doesn't like going out. You are looking for somebody to take you to the mall, to take you to a restaurant or wherever you want to go. And he said his lifestyle is not to go out. And he went and gave you an engagement ring. How long did you spend with him before he gave you that engagement ring? You can see that the foundation is completely wrong. How long were you in Nigeria before he gave you an engagement ring that is rusty, that wanted to do, cut off your finger with fungi? Hmm. A sense a lot of desperation from this email i sense a lot of you know you are not really okay being yourself as a woman looking at what you achieved with your life you say you are a nurse to say okay this i'm, I'm a full package i am beautiful I'm, I'm 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 i have my life all together i'm working i'm a professional any man that meets me i'm going to be a blessing to them I'm going to be bringing something to the table. You're not looking at yourself like that. All you are looking for is wedding day. Wedding day. Wedding day. Hmm. My dear, be very, very careful because there are a lot of fake people out there. They will pretend as if they like you because they know what you want. You ooze, you know, that kind of desperation that men don't find on. They find it so unappealing. What you need is to find friendship. Somebody that, you, you know, that you can chill with, get to know. No pressure of, oh, oh, oh I'm 28, oh, I'm 28, oh, I'll be 29 soon. So what? There are so many women in their 30s that are not married. It's because they are choosing, they, they made the right decision to take their time because you know what? As much as you think that uh, you are 29 now, eh? A day will come when you will look back and you will start thanking God that you took your time. Because if you go and enter the wrong one, eh? Hey, hey, that one bad though. It is very, very bad. There are so many women that are so miserable, so unhappy, depressed. There are so many marriages that is mortgage that are keeping them together. It's uh, children that are keeping them together. There is no love, nothing in the relationship that is, you know, interesting. That they will say, okay, this is why, I, you know, I'm in this marriage. So calm down. Calm down. That your parents got married late and they had their own challenges. As long, is your, the question you should be looking at is, okay, my mom got married, my parents got married late, but is it a happy marriage? Are my parents happy? That's what you should be looking at. Not uh, people were thinking that they are, uh, we are their grand, grandchildren. Let people think whatever they want. What you should be focusing on from learning from your parents' marriage is that, are they happy? They got married late, fine, but are they happy? You know, do they compliment each other? Do they... Do they, is your mom fulfilled? Is your dad fulfilled? Hmm? Do you prefer her to, your mom should have married early so that she'll marry somebody that will be beating and slapping her every day? Do you know the amount of domestic violence that is out there because of, you know, marrying the wrong person? Hmm. If you hear stories there, eh, you will start thanking God that you're single. You just thank God that, ah, God, thank you that I'm still single at least. I still have the opportunity to choose carefully. Not jumping because uh, of my age. My advice to you in conclusion is that you need to chill. Chill. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Enjoy the journey where you are. Enjoy the road where you are to where you are going. Marriage is not the ultimate in life. Marriage is very good, but marriage can be hell if you marry the wrong person. Relax. Chill. Be happy with yourself. And then before you know it, if you are just happy just doing your own thing, the man will just come from nowhere. But somebody like you that is so anxious already, anxiety about marriage is crippling you. If the man comes and goes, ah, this one, this one will tie me down, you know, they'll run. Because you are sending out the wrong vibes. 
with cause of your anxiety about marriage, 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 marriage. And you think that Facebook guy was real? <laughs> you should thank your sister for from from delivering you from a fraud. Fraud. Facebook guys are fraud. Ninety nine point nine. Say again. He's no medical doctor. He was just lying. I tell you, most of these guys you meet online, the stories I have about them is too plenty, too plenty that women have written to me about guys they met on Facebook and they went to Nigeria to meet the guy and how the guy turned out to be everything except what they have told them that they are. Don't believe what people put on social media. They can claim to be anything. As I'm here now, I can claim to be, to be, to be a, a, a first lady of Nigeria. Does that make me first lady? No. But online, people can create a persona for themselves. They lie. So be very, very careful. My advice to you is to chill. Take your time. Focus on yourself. You know, find some joy in your heart. You know, be happy being where you are. Make friends. Girlfriends, if this pandemic is over, you and your girlfriends should just enjoy yourself. Go out and just have fun. The girls that have fun, eh? Who go out and just hang up and they are not bothered about, you know, I'm single, I'm, si I'm single, I'm 28. They are not uptight about it and mourning over it and, you know, depressed over it. They are the ones that find husband quickly. Oh. Men are attracted to that energy of women who are just happy. They're just happy. They're just happy doing their own thing. If you meet them, you know, they play cool. Not that they don't want to marry, but they just play cool. I see. Mm. Me too. I'm bringing something to the table. So, uh -uh. you know, you're not doing me a favor by dating me. But you, you're looking for a ring. Hmm. Is well, you all of you single girls out there, single ladies, please. If you've not learned anything on this platform, learn today what I'm telling you that marriage is very, very loving. Mar marriage is very sweet. Marriage is good if you are lucky to meet the right person who is the bone of your bone and is flesh of the flesh. But there are a lot of challenges that come your way as you grow up and you become adults. That will make your make make marriage your marriage will be tested in ways that huh, you will be wondering hey, who will send me. So be careful. Don't jump into a relationship. Don't jump into marriage. Take your time. The right person will come. Crown it all. Trust God. Pray. Ask God to the bone of your bone, the man that He has created to be the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh to locate you. Don't go and marry somebody else's husband. Because if you do, the consequences, it is very, very bad. All the risky. Let me speak Igbo because you are Igbo. All the risky. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you here today. A word is enough for the wise, they say. And if you like to leave me your thoughts in the comment section, I would appreciate that. And I shall speak to you in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye bye.